Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I just got an email from Uber regarding a new feature they're putting in for drivers. And they're calling it the Rider Identity Verification. Hmm. Let's see what it's all about. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by, I appreciate it. So Uber is putting is implementing a new feature after they're taking away our ability to set our own rates. Thanks, Dara, the dickhead. We appreciate you screwing over the drivers again. But they're putting in a feature that's supposed to be beneficial to drivers, and it's called the Rider Identity Verification. And this is the email I got. It says, starting today, we're strengthening our rider verification process by validating the identity of riders who use anonymous payment methods such as prepaid cards, gift cards, or payment platforms such as Venmo when setting up an account. These additional verification requirements can act as a deterrent to those who may attempt to use the app to commit fraud or harm. You're just a stupid driver. You're going to do what I tell you to do. <laughs> so... I'm assuming that this is only for new riders that are signing up on the app, but let's see what, let's continue. Uber uses a number of fraud detection and verification checks throughout the process of account creation, creation, with the exception of not doing a background check. What the hell is wrong with people? <laughs> so, um, let's go back and do this over again. Uber uses a, a fraud detection, a number of fraud detection and verification checks throughout the process of account creation, trip use, and other activity. While the vast majority of trips end up without any safety issues, our focus is still on helping to prevent safety issues from happening. <laughs> If you have any questions, contact our support team directly or visit our help center. I just did a video, so if you're having a problem getting a hold of the help center, check out my other video, which has the 24-hour uh, safety line numbers for both Uber and Lyft. So let's learn more and see exactly what this says. Launching new rider verification feature to enhance safety on the road. So, hmm, okay, well, let me show you these screenshots. This is from Uber. So, apparently, they're asking you to take a photograph of the front and back of your ID, or choose one way to verify your account. Driver's license, state ID, pa um, passport, or credit card. Sorry about that. <laughs> Cannot focus. Focus! Too much light in here. A lot of glare. Okay, so moving forward. At Uber, we believe we need to re-image re the way the world moves for the better. Today, there are people looking to get a ride who don't have a credit card or access to credit. In order to ensure our platform is accessible to everyone, we allow people to use payment methods such as prepaid cards, gift cards, or payment platforms such as Venmo <clears throat> excuse me, when setting up an account. However, we know from law enforcement and other experts that anonymous payment methods are more often linked to malicious actions or fraud which can put drivers at risk. So while the vast majority of trips end without any safety issues, we're taking extra steps to validate these accounts. At Uber, even a single safety incident is one too many. Starting today, March 13th, we're strengthening our rider verification process and putting more safeguards in place to validate the identity of riders who use these types of payments. These new features re require, this new feature requires riders to try to set up a new account with 
a prepaid card, gift cards, or Venmo to upload a valid ID, such as a driver's license or a passport. The ID then undergoes a series of validity checks. These additional verification requirements can act as a deterrent for those who are trying to use the app to cause harm. Uber uses a a number of fraud detection and verification checks throughout the process of account creation, trip use, and other activity. For example, over the past several years, we've used a feature called Social Connect Globally, which verifies riders using anonymous forms of payment through their social media accounts. <laughs> well, that's great. Now that we've verified who this person is through a bogus social media account, <laughs> We're going to be safe. Working in partnership with law enforcement, we've also developed and sent our safety information and tips, sent out safety information and tips, and we have a team that works proactively with police on their investigations into crimes related to the app. Your safety is so important to us, and we want you to have the peace of mind when using Uber. We'll continue to work to improve safety on the app because our work on safety is never done. Thank you for all you do for the community you serve. You're welcome, and thank you for taking away the ability for California drivers to set their own rates and see where the hell we're going. <laughs> so, again, as you can see, I'm thinking this is geared more towards I mean, I understand it. They're trying to lower the, the 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 rate of fraudulent accounts or people that have been taking off the account and so on and so forth. But you're you're using Facebook to verify that that's who they are. How many fraudulent accounts are on Facebook? So, anyway, I just wanted to drop that out. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think about this new safety feature and I just wanted to put that out there so until next time everybody be safe be professional keep it real and as always drive on until next time I wish you all the best of health